Welcome back to another week of mayhem. Um, certainly got mayhem tonight. Tonight we've just been to Tilbury, got an empty trailer. From here we're going to Rochester to drop that empty trailer, pick up a loaded trailer. Taking that into Croydon. From Croydon we tip, empty trailer goes to Alsford in Maidstone where we've been before. Sit there for 300 years waiting for them to load empty trolleys. That goes back to Rochester. And from Rochester we go back to Tilbury. So there's lots of messing about basically. Um, I was gonna do this week's video yesterday. Um, it was like Tilbury, loaded from Tilbury to Coventry. Um, a trailer swap then loaded from Coventry to Derby and it was uh, right by the end of the runway for East Midlands Airport but it was all gloom and doom you could barely catch a wingtip of uh, the aircraft taking off so I just didn't bother in the end uh, long old day or a long old night but that's how it is another long night tonight we've got a nice easy one tomorrow Thank God. Tomorrow all we'll be doing is Tilbury loaded, into it switch, tip, return, go home. So probably about five hour shift tomorrow which would be lovely. Uh, usual traffic at Dartford Crossing. Um, not good seeing the Arctic going the outside lane when the only lane available is lane one. So they are letting the team down a bit there. But you can't have everything. Well, I'll catch you up around about the Rochester way. And then when we're getting over on our journey to Croydon. And on the way to Croydon, you may not have seen this. I've not seen it before. There is, a, like, where you've got your bus lanes, you've got a goods vehicle lane. Bus and goods vehicle lane. Which is rather surprising, actually. but can't knock that can you we're being thought of right catch you very very soon bye bye for now all right here we go watch your stuff he's just around the corner we're running about 35 minutes late due to the double crossing i've done a report on the relay app so they know what's going on so it's going to make it a bit of a tight night but that ain't too bad because when I get to uh, Alford for the empty trolleys they're about to say oh we ain't got any I'll just park over there and we'll load you up in a bit and I think my departure time there is uh, cool past eight or half past eight and uh, I'll probably be there till about then but I had before, got me out there about an hour or so quicker, so fingers crossed. Well, we just got to come around this, then we've got a little chicane up here. A little bit of Italy. <laughs> up and around about. First exit. Little rabbit, if you saw that, well, there's two actually. Another rabbit into the little chicane. How they designed the road to be like this, I don't know, but it is good fun. Right there, round this corner, we'll be at Amazon. That bit dead ahead now is where you come out. And obviously this is the way in. Yeah, 
is the gate house. Not the best place in the world here, but I got to come here twice today, which is absolutely fantastic. This is Tarkin's favourite place, this one. That's my boss. He loves it here. But anyway, got to turn the cameras off going in and I'll catch you when we come out or nearer to Croydon. Watch this is done. Got up a trailer load going into Croydon. I'm starting to make a little bit of progress. Catch up now on the running late. It's been uh, cursing tonight so far. I'd like to say, you know, if there's any class one drivers that are looking for work that are in like. Um, Essex area near Tilbury or close by or whatever um, 40k up to 12 hours sometimes you don't do that most of the time you don't do that uh, I think the shortest shift I've ever done is an hour and 36 minutes and you get paid full for that so any class one even if you're on new pass looking for work, looking for your first HGV job, drop us a comment down below and uh, I'll give you some contact details. Uh, we've asked a few drivers at the moment, as most of you would already know from last week, that I am leaving. So that's another position available. But the work is easy. It's not difficult to do, you don't get your hands dirty as such. You don't load, you don't unload. All you do is pick up a trailer, take it where it's got to go, drop it off, or live tip it, live load it. But it's uh, straightforward and easy like that. But there can be a lot of waiting around. You could start work at Tilbury at say nine o'clock, and your trailer from Dartford ain't till three o'clock in the morning. So you're wasting a hell of a lot of time doing nothing. So if you could put up with that, then all well and good. Drop us a comment, I'll give you some details for contact. £40,000 a year, and mainly all night work. Okay, if you let me know on that, and I'll pick you up again in the Croydon area. That's it, most of the journey done. Just on the uh, E23, coming up towards Croydon. So, about a minute longer than coming up the A22, but. At the roundabout, take the first exit. When you come up the A22, the Amazon Relay app freaks out with an alarm, telling you it's a truck restricted zone. When it's not. So, uh, I'll just go up to the next junction. M23 coming that way, not a lot in it. But we're coming up now. Get this one off there. Normally, really quick. I think I've had this one tipped in 11 minutes before. And as I've only got half a trailer, it should be fine. Uh, but on the way back, I've got to go anti clock on the M25, obviously. To go out. Uh, First exit to Farthingway. To go to Ellsford. And the M25 is closed for a very long while. Um, must be about two or three junctions worth of closure, which is not great. But let's hope it's open by then. In two and a quarter miles, turn left onto A23. And here's what I told you about earlier. Bus and goods vehicle lane. So, if 
Thank you very much, Gordon Council. Am I getting in front of this minicab that ain't got a clue where it's going? Like the rest of them, useless. This good lane is for over three and a half tons only, so bad luck to all you van drivers. This one's not for you. And uh, I don't really benefit from it anyway at night, but I'm sure it'll make a difference during the day, especially during that like, rush hour. But coming out, you're just normal. No extra privileges coming out. They just want your goods out in their shops and stuff and then that's it where are we <laughs> not long to go now uh, don't often really do runs like this that are built up areas it's normally like motorway a roads and you're done and uh, this is one of very, very, very few, I think it's just here, and the Canyon Town one, that are uh, like built up areas out uh, of Tilbury. Right. That mini cab don't want to play, good. Ain't going to confuse me with his lefts and rights anymore. Just up the road from it now. Just before the 18 ton limit. We turn off. Around the back, it's quite a small yard, really. Well, it's long, but not very wide. And uh, it used to be alright here, but now they won't let you stay in the cab like many of them do. Um, they're so called driver's lounge it's not covered it's tiny barely enough room in there for the uh, copy machine but as as we all know two more weeks today I'll be gone even though I may stay for another two days finish off the week it all depends what crap they give me really they give me a couple of good ones and I'll stay for two more days All the traffic lights, all the stop starting. Uh, mini cabs everywhere. I don't like a mini cab around here, Croydon, for some reason. Probably because I can't. Pretty much the halfway marker of the night. Hope no one's coming out. Lovely. Bit of luck, no one's in there. It'd be quicker. We we'll soon find out. But anyway, I better cut it off and just pulled onto the site. And I see you later. There we go. Coming up towards my junction now. M25 played nicely with me. Um, round at the 26, M26, cut across, just picked up the N20 coming off now, lovely clear roads, only about five minute journey when we come off here, uh, time is now seven minutes past five, so I'm not due to leave for three hours. Roundabout, take the first exit to three hours and 15 minutes so we'll see how we get on it'd be nice if they got a load of empty trolleys ready to go it'd be a disaster 
If they've already got a truck sitting there waiting for trolley. Because it's either likely they'll cancel me. But if they do, even better. Turn right at the traffic light. Yep, yeah, okay, we can shut you up, can't we? Right, we will turn right at the traffic light. Where have I heard that before? As it happens, I don't think I've ever been here in daylight before. Oh, just the one side to come down for a drug and alcohol test before. I got given the roll. So if anyone is out there thinking about coming on the Amazon, you do have to do a drug and alcohol test. So if you're a pisshead or a junkie, don't bother. Um, drug tests, they test for all drugs. It is a nightmare test kit thing. You have to put this like large cotton wool thing in your mouth and soak it in saliva and it feels horrible. And it takes about five, ten minutes to have a sink in your mouth when you're dribbling all over the place. Absolute nightmare so. It's not like them ones the old Bill used but you just wipe your around your tongue and cheeks and whatever, your gums and whatever else. This is like plonked in your mouth with your mouth open. But it tests for everything. So you need to know getting past that little kit. Right, chuck a left here, in a little bit of residential. As always, keep the speed and the revs down. For those that want to have a lay in bed this morning. Don't like to disturb people. Probably the only one I ever does don't do it though. Right. Everyone's starting to wake up now, look. All the companies are getting ready for their day. I'm not thinking about having my sleep. So anyone that didn't want a job that was coming out of Tilbury, you go to 15, 20 different places repetitively. So uh, you do get used to them. Know where you're going and that. And you know how they behave. This one got an old boy there and uh, he just starts about all over the place I'd love to have his energy and it seems to move around a lot quicker at getting uh, results in there when he's on shift but you got the young ones they just want to stand about playing with their phones don't they and whatever else hopefully no trucks oh we have. Let's have a little look. As we go into Cone City. Two on bay, one way in. Right, cutting off the video as we end the site. Right, we're here, we're in the yard. There's another truck to the left of me. Just waiting for trolleys. So he, he is on before me. Get him full up, then it'll be down to me. So I will be here till 8.30. Sure it was 8.30. So have a lookie. 8.30, yeah. Uh, arrive by 5.50. Depart at 8.30. And I'll make sure I will. Still not no working for Saturday yet, but tomorrow is lovely. 
Tilbury, Ipswich, Tilbury. Nice, easy day. Right, catch you up when I'm out of here. Time for sleepies. Right, that's that done. A lot earlier than I thought. The time is now 06.49. Due an 08.15 departure. So, all up here with that one. What we've got to do now, Rochester. Swap the trailer for an empty. And back to Tilbury. Another long night out of the way. Jublux trailer ahead of us. Not too sure why that's here, but that's what I was doing before I uh, done my class one. I was a van driver for them in Barking, and uh, by far that's the easiest job I've ever had in my life as a driver. And uh, while I'm between jobs, I'm gonna see if I can go out in my old van with the driver now and make a little video on it. Why not? Hopefully you won't spill paint everywhere. <laughs> right, till watch your stuff. Bye bye. Well here we go again. Watch it twice in the same shift. What did I do to deserve that? Quick try to swap. Get rid of the trolleys on here. And uh, head back to Tilbury. Dump the trolley, I don't care if it's wonky or whatever. Just dump that. Back to the yard, get myself home. And as a reward, I ain't gonna get up till midnight proper lay in a night and I need it but here we go back on the chicane you can see it better now it's daytime but no rabbits don't know why but I like that Hopefully in no queue. When I came here like last night, I gave him a reference and sat there for 10 minutes. And I thought, well, what's going on here? Like, and I tried to adjust myself so I can see a bit better. On the phone. Oh. Right. Another part of this job that's no good. Close the gatehouse. Finally, I'm on my way. That took about two hours. I'll have to check the time that I came in and I'll get back. 
when I finally got in there, I dropped the trailer off with the trolleys on. Gotta give it another empty to come back. No plate on it for the ministry. So I refused that. Gave me another one. That also hasn't got a plate on it. So I refused that. I ended up taking one off the bay that's due to be loaded. So uh, apparently they're not putting them on the truck, on the trailers. They've got them on the system, so they don't think it's necessary. But I think they're going to find a lot of trailers that are going to be not going out and the printer's going to be doing overtime. So, uh, running much later than I expected. Time is now 0913. They've got to contend with the Dartmouth crossing. And then back into Tilbury. Drop this off, finally get home. Oh, I'm looking forward to my later start than usual. I don't need to start to 0230 for my short little run tomorrow, which is great. Cannot wait. Well, I can. Well, you know what I mean. I'm just looking forward to a later start. A bit more in keeping with what I'm uh, used to. I'm definitely, definitely not a night driver. Well, here we are. Stop number six, Tilbury. Finally. Never thought I was going to see this place. <laughs> what a night, eh? At least I weren't alone. You lot were with me. Pity you can't all drive. <laughs> Right, let's just get rid of this trailer, and that's me done. Where are you coming from? Oh, I can't wait to get in my car, I really can't. Or well, better still, I can't wait to park the car up. That's even better. This looks a bit better than it did at Rochester, doesn't it? Straight in. Night from hell is officially over. Till next week, people. Bye bye.